Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a new motherboard from MSI, the P55 GD80. This one here is based on the P55 chipset, of course. Tons of features and support, as you would expect from the latest and greatest, and also meant for the Intel Core i5 and i7 CPUs, obviously. So if you've got the new uh, Core i5-750, for example, with the LGA-1156 socket, that's what would go in here, okay? This board is truly meant for overclocking, starting with that Dr. Moss, high quality components, high efficiency, low power consumption, smart, it knows when to turn off components that are not needed, and also conserve energy, so it's very efficient. Also, to add on to that, it's got this heat pipe, 8 millimeters thick, that's 60% more, uh, more actually than the average heat pipes that you see on motherboards these days. So you got high quality components here, it's going to help cool down your, uh, your CPU when you're overclocking, for example, and you're increasing all these voltages. So truly, this board is meant for hardcore overclockers, okay? So if you're looking for something like that, 16 gigs of DDR3, you're going to be able to install in those four slots that you can see there. And also for overclockers that have a multimeter, you can stick in your multimeter in here and test the uh, voltage core, your DDR, all of that, the voltages can be uh, basically accurately read, right? And also you can unlock limitations that uh, the bias might only be showing you, you can increase only so much the voltage. Well, you can see that there's this little switch box right beside where I'm pointing at here and you can actually uh, unlock that. So for your voltage, um, for your multimeter, you would just stick in uh, what you wanted to test. So DDR voltage, you put in the DDR and your ground, and then just stick in your multimeter. To unlock limitations, these switches allow you to unlock CPU um, voltage uh, limitations, for example, the uh, multiplier, um, for example, all of that you can unlock here, okay? And now, uh, moving along here, you can see also the um, eSATA connectors facing the proper way so they don't interfere with your video card. Very good. IDE connector right beside that if you still have an old drive. And of course, more eSATAs on the top. So definitely RAID support here. Don't worry about it. And um, towards the corner, you've got your I.O. Uh, plugs there for your case, for example. And just beside that, you've got these buttons so you can actually, uh, while overclocking, reset or power things off and debug your, your overclocking. It has a nice LED beside it with the codes that you can check. And also this plus and minus button, what is that? Well, that's actually direct live overclocking. So while you're in Windows, you can actually press those plus and minus buttons on the board and it will increase the front side bus, that base clock adjustment frequency. So the base clock can be adjusted on the fly. Pretty cool, I like that. And uh, I'll show you the results in a moment. Also, right beside that, an overclocking genie button. You power off your machine, you press that button, you power it back on, automatically overclocks your system. Terrific. Okay, so, so many ways to overclock, it's not funny. Moving along the side here, you've got USB ports. Obviously, you've got the headers here, so you can have tons of USB support. No problem there. Your audio, your CD audio in, all of the audio plugs. Firewire support, obviously, on this board. Tri-SLI, Crossfire support. Definitely on there. Look at the back. You've got the PS2 connectors for your mouse and keyboard. You've got the coax optical. You've got Firewire. Tons of USB, as you can see, and eSATA as well. Dual LAN, which is very nice. A lot of boards come with that these days. And, of course, your HD audio at the back. Okay, so pretty complete uh, looking so far. Now, let's look at some overclocking. How can we overclock? Well, uh, this is my test system that I'm using today, the Core i5-750 CPU, that's default 2.6 GHz, okay? Got two uh, HD4890s and Crossfire on here. This is the default without me overclocking nothing, okay? So it's just installed and ready to go on this MSI board, and I have not touched anything in the BIOS, I did not do anything to the system. It's reading it nicely, those are the values, that's the memory settings, and uh, now we're going to go to do some overclocking and see if we can basically bump this up a level and, and bring it up to over the 3 gigahertz or even 4 gigahertz. So um, next thing to do here is to press that overclocking genie button. So remember, when the machine was off, you press it, you boot up your machine, it automatically calculates all the voltages, bus speeds, everything, and 3.3 .3 gigahertz is what it gave me, just like that, okay, without me doing nothing. It has a chipset on the motherboard that does all the 
the uh, overclocking calculations for you uh, and then just that's it sets it up for you and then you can save the the settings in your bias and you're done there you go okay so Northbridge uh, frequencies that's the memory timings everything it adjusted by itself I didn't do anything okay that's the the easiest uh, overclocking that I've ever done before then of course you've got the direct base overclock remember that plus and minus button that I showed you beside there so here's the machine is it's on and I'm gonna press the plus button now and it's gonna increase the uh, bus speed and I've increased it from 133 megahertz to 197 okay already it took me a while I have to keep pressing it and now I'm pressing it again okay so slowly here I'm pressing it again as you can see it's increasing to 200 210 211 and you, you can just keep going until your machine locks up of course or you can pause and then and then run some uh, stress testing some torture testing on this and see if it's stable or not right so there you go very cool way of overclocking on the fly then of course there's the regular bias overclocking right you go into your bias settings and you adjust the base clock you adjust the multiplier and that's what I did I, I put the multiplier up to 21 increase the uh, the uh, bus speed and there you go four gigahertz okay stable okay I'll make a separate video about the core i5 750 so you can see benchmarks this video is about the motherboard it's a terrific motherboard for overclocking lots of fun that I had trying it out and I can't wait to put in a core i7 in there as well in the kit very complete has everything including the uh, SLI and Crossfire bridge connectors which you don't really see too, ma too many uh, manufacturers giving those as well in the in the case so it's very nice that they added that in there very complete uh, kit as you can see premium package definitely for those that are looking to overclock I recommend that you get this and I'd like to thank MSI for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching